Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles. Uh, my name is Danny Delilo. I'm delighted to be joined by the director of graduation, Robin Wang. Uh, Robin, great to have you here with us. Thank you, Danny. Pleasure to be here. Uh, but for those who haven't seen graduation, let's take a little clip. We are <laughs> um, Robin, you know how much I loved your film, uh, but for those that haven't seen it, tell us a brief synopsis. Yeah, and basically, uh, Graduation is a romantic comedy and family drama um, about this really messy graduation evening um, uh, when uh, this Chinese uh, international student goes on one last day to say goodbye to his secret American boyfriend. And at the same time, their parents who haven't met each other for a very long time, um, uh, they started to have a sort of an affair together. And then they sort of, um, uh, and because of their sort of so engaged in their, um, their only night with each other, they, they miss, miss the flight the other. <laughs> Uh, the next day and then they sort of all, all st stumbled upon each other's affair and then uh, everything ends really awkwardly so so that's basically um how the story would um evolved it's it's a brilliant fun comedy like it really is it's just it's so as you say the perfect word is so messy because of the story that's unfolding and it was just so great to see these four characters just kind of unfold with their feelings it was a lot um, but, you know, it was also really heartwarming, too, because, you know, it was so sad to sort of see this young couple, you know, kind of in love and trying to hide their relationship. And meanwhile, the parents said, you know, whatever. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just, you know, it was really articulated so well. Where did the inspiration come for you and turn this story into a film? Uh -huh. uh, yeah, so basically, um, well, the story was inspired by, uh, by a lot of my past experiences because um, I've been an international student since I was 15, which is like 10 years ago. Um, I, um, I basically was like this global traveler. I went to Singapore for high school and graduated from there. I went to Duke for undergrad and graduated from there and I moved to LA. So it's basically, um, I've been moving from one place to another. And then uh, every time I do that, um, I sort of have to have have to leave certain things and people behind and then sort of move on to a very uh, sort of uncertain future. So I, 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 I tap into basically that, um, that bittersweet feeling of, you know, it's starting that next chapter of your life, but also it's, you're leaving a lot of things behind. And then there's also this distance and separations from, um, you know, your former friends and loved ones. And uh, when you move on to the next chapter so um yeah there's definitely that bittersweet feeling that surrounds um you know graduation there is a theme of um, of queerness in the context of asian american family which i also explored uh, and related to um and then there, and and stylistically i see this film as a sort of synthesis of um some of the early and least work like um the wedding banquet at Adrian men women um and the and 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 the queer coming of age story um, found in movies like Moonlight or Call Me by Your Name. So it's like sort of um, uh, a hybrid of both. Yeah, I you know I mean firstly I I thought uh, you know I, I loved all of your actors that you chose. Um, they all you know it takes a certain kind of actor to be able to perform that essence of seriousness and comedy at the same time, uh, which I thought every single one every single actor did so well and. You know, it was really kind of endearing this relationship that was, you know, this kind of, you know, young love relationship and just the dynamics of a lot of couples that are kind of separated with this, you know, really comedic element to it as well. And I'm just curious, Robin, how you, I felt like your cast was perfect. How was the casting process for you? Oh, uh, yeah, thank you. So, I mean, Asian American casting is like kind of its own niche. So, um, um, for the two kids, they're actually on my outreach list. So, they're basically not the people who submitted when I put out a casting call, but people I, I've seen in uh, in other movies that I or or people who I've known um, from before. I thought uh, might fit this role. One of them is um, um, well, he's a pretty pretty much sort of a well-known um, LA-based actor. And he, I, I watched this film called Straight A on YouTube. It was basically this, um, um, I think Taiwanese-American, um, like gay, um, um, 
uh, you know, use. And then he he's sort of like having, uh, he's sort of in this really sort of vulnerable situation where he sort of had to come out to his dad and then um, um, uh, and tell him about his white partner and so on and so, so forth. It was a, uh, it was a pretty popular film on, on, on YouTube. So I basically reached out to this guy on backstage and he, he basically, because yeah. I thought he was like a good fit for this movie. And then basically I invited yeah. him over <laughs> for audition. Um, yeah, um, yeah he, so he eventually became the one who played um, um, the guy who's staying in the film. And then um, there's the other, um, um, the other actor, Dylan, who I met from previous auditions, who, um, who, who, who uh, for that film, he was a little too young, but he was like the perfect fit for this film. So um, yeah, which is why I do, um, you know, I, I do auditions uh, all the time, not just, you know, to cast actors, but no actors, so that they may yeah. go for the next film. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. Um, yeah, and for the two parents, um, yeah, there are basically only a couple of people, to be honest, who can play men were speaking dads in LA. Um, yeah, and the same for mom. So basically um, over time, I just knew all of them. <laughs> and then, wow. yeah, and then still, uh, you know, still it's a lot of, um, you know, chemistry tests and then they all sort of know each other as well because it's a small um, acting circle, yeah. Well, I love it. You mentioned something that's uh, is so lovely to hear as well as how you cast people to know actors, you know, and then you're always thinking about not just that particular project, but, you know, other projects that maybe you're also doing. I think that's also refreshing because, you know, um, it's, it's, it's nice to have, understand, you know, the people that are out there that could be potentially part of your film. So that's really wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, how are you as a director of the film this? Like, because there was so many, like, little dynamics that was going on, everything from the sort of, you know, intimacy to serious moments to comedy, like, do you have a lot of play with your actors rehearsal? Like, what's your process? I I absolutely did with a, um, like a lot of rehearsals because you know the um, given the project itself, the success of the film sort of lies in the script and and the directing and the uh, and the acting. Um, so there were a lot of like nuances, like in the opening um, scene where there was like a lot of tension of uh, sexual and romantic yeah. tension that's underneath it. Um, there's, there's definitely, you know, it's an ensemble film. So when four people come, come together, it's just when one, some, one person says something, the other three people have, it triggers some sort of response in them. Yeah. So, so yeah, so that was a very hard uh, scene to direct. And, I, um, and we basically did a lot of rehearsals on that. And I, um, and, I, um, and, I and I sort of knew how, how I react would, would react in situations like this, you know, with the question about girlfriend and all of that. And then, um, um, and, 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 and about graduation and so on and so forth. And then when, 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 the, when the parents sort of, oh, uh, praise you for, for, for your good grades or in front of another kid and then, or <laughs> it's, I, 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 I grew up knowing what it feels like all the time. So I just like play, uh, play that out, um, you know, in that scene and then, um, um, and and you know there are uh, films like *Eat, Drink, Man, Women* or um, um, *The Wedding Banquet*, which are also sort of uh, playing with that kind of dynamics, which is like yeah, it was a pretty fun scene to to, to work on. And then um, uh, yeah, and the, the 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 intimate, vulnerable scene is about the small, right? And then um, and then um, um, you know I, I I I tend to be you know very sensitive and um, and had that sensibilities about you know like uh, people. Uh, uh, loved one who's graduating and, and sort of yeah. facing impending separation. So that's sort of part of my sensibility. Um, and then uh, and then the comic scenes are just, um, you know, come together by itself, I guess. I mean, it's, it's about, it's the opposite, the, the big one. And then, um, so, um, but yeah, and then in the end it comes back to the embarrassing, you know, breakfast. So it opens with a, it opens with an elaborate dinner. It ends with a quiet breakfast. So it's like a sort of image system contrast that sort of bring the whole thing together. Um, yeah, I, I, I just think, um, you know, there's, a, like you said, a lot of different style, a lot of, you know, some different tones that are sort of being blended together. And then yeah, um, I, I think everything comes back to the heart behind it, which is like a bittersweet and then the things, um, um, comedy and, but also, um, you know, heartfelt drama, and also, you know, it's it's comes back to the what the moment requires, and I think it just like comes falls into place naturally. I mean, for me, yeah, 
no, you incorporated a lot into a very into into a short film. Like yeah. honestly, really, it was uh, it really almost need. I needed a part two. I need to know what was going to happen next. <laughs> but um, what what was the biggest challenge for you making it? Yeah, a lot of uh, constraint. Uh, of course, like you said, it's a very short film. And I've noticed it's precisely six minutes. That's because that's the length that the school requires. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're, uh, it's basically an, an intermediate production um, where your film has to be five minutes, 30 seconds, and your credits have to be 30 seconds. But um, um, so, so it was a lot in, to be, um, you know, sort of uh, um, condensed. But the thing about uh, this kind of, um, uh, you know, being tight is that you don't waste any, um, you don't waste any dialogue. You just, it, yeah. it just goes really fast. It's a really fast paced film that sort of, um, that, that sort of hooks you in and then it is it's, and then sends you on a roller coaster and then all that kind of stuff but that's kind of the the movies that i like which is you know a, a very tight paced and entertaining um film and then um and and, and as as the audience sort of ride along with you you sort of and they also sort of you know get get the message here and there and that's underneath the um the entertainment um yeah and, <laughs> yeah there are other production challenges as well also, one of them is that I got really lucky because, um, you know, like just days after we wrapped this film, there's like a COVID shutdown and then the whole thing shut down. Oh, yeah, and then we even we even canceled our third project for the semester, which left one of our teammates really, really sad. And then, yeah. and then we never opened for another year and a half or so, you know, it's so I got really lucky that we wrapped just on time and then um, just on time. Just on time. Yeah, 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 wow. yeah. And, yeah and then i mean when we filmed there was a lot of raining that's going on and just like my luck i guess with when dealing with exterior scenes it's just like um you know even whether the um, whether the weather says it's gonna rain or it's gonna clear it's just gonna you know shower to some degree when i'm filming exterior scenes so <laughs> but, but but in the end we still managed to get got what we want so um you know, even 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 if it's not a complete coverage that we, um, that I planned before, but it's still like enough to sort of um, <laughs> finish up the scene. But but it also taught me something about scheduling. So, <laughs> hey, I mean, goodness me, I'm so glad that you got to make this film before you know the world decided to have other plans. Um, I mean, it was yeah. you know, and you know, again, well done on on, on making and creating a film you know, in that time period, because it sounds a lot easier than it is to make a film in a certain time, uh, keeping that flow together. And it really did, you know, flow really well. I mean, it really was. So congratulations. I think you, you know, did a great job there as well. Um, obviously, things are starting to look a little bit better now. Like what, what's next for you? What next are you working on at the moment? Uh, yeah, so I um, I was basically selected to direct one of the three um, thesis films um, at USC. So those thesis films are sort of funded by school. Um, yeah. And, um, and yeah, and basically I also got lucky to um, to have found a um, a story that is set that is set in the Asian American family, and then um, it's about this uh, a coming of age comedy. Uh, kind of in the styles of Lady Bird and Minari sort of mixed together about this um, Chinese American boy, uh, like a nine year old boy who who got tired of being punished and pushed and sometimes beaten by his dad and then he flees um, his house and then flees across the street and offers himself up for adoption by his best friend, uh, who is like a white family like um, um, who, who also have this liberal, um, you know, <laughs> um, um, ideas about raising their kids. So, um, yeah, yeah. And basically it's, um, and then, and then we follow all the mess that he created. It's, it's, it's another messy film, I would say. <laughs> hey, and listen, if we're going to expect, uh, Robin Wang's films are going to send you as, as messy films, then I'm all for it. Cause you know, I love, I love the journey that you take us on. So, uh, very, very exciting. Uh, listen, I know you're so early in your career right now and obviously, a lot has happened, you know, since you made this film to making your next project. Uh, I'm just curious, like for filmmakers out there, student filmmakers, filmmakers out there in the world, what maybe have you learned over the course of making the films thus far or during this juncture? Like what, what kind of advice could you maybe share? Mm -hmm. Well, and, and the first advice I would, I would give is that, you know, um, make films no matter what. 
Um, so basically, I, um, I, I've been making films since, um, since I went to Singapore in 2011. And then it was a long, it was a very long journey. And then um, back then, uh, before I came to LA, uh, the environment of uh, filmmaking basically um, around me was, is, was very limited in terms of what it offers um, to, to a film, the film project I'm creating. But nonetheless, I sort of still press on, even, even um, though it's just me and a camera. Um, um, for, for a certain amount of time. Um, and um, even when I'm not making films, I'm thinking about stories and writing scripts. So it's always an ongoing process of creating uh, because it's, because if you don't create, um, I mean, it's kind of like James Cameron said, when you pick up the camera and when you do, when you make a film, you're a director, um, you know, right? And then otherwise you, um, um, you're just some, someone who's thinking about directing film and never really direct a film. So, um, so I definitely believe that the best way to learn directing and 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 movie making is to actually make a film. Um, yeah. yeah, and then um, the uh, my second advice would be uh, would be to open up your sensibilities to the world around you. Um, I I'm kind of a pretty uh, sensitive kind of person when I travel from place to place. Um, and then sort of, um, so, so some of the seemingly mundane details about life may trigger a very uh, complicated response in me. And that response became what's, um, you know, um, the underlying um, foundations for some of my works like graduation. So, um, so, so, so yeah, I mean, uh, I think filmmaking, it, it's, it's definitely, um, whether it's your personal story or not, it's definitely important to find your personal sensibilities into that. Um, into that story and how you see yourself um, in that situation, um, and 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 I, I think it, you know again in the personal is is the most powerful. Um, yeah, absolutely. Well, sound advice. My goodness, man. I'm glad you shared that with us. Thank you so very much. Well, we're looking forward to more of your messy films, Robin. Uh, we can't wait for the next one. Um, but best wishes um, on on your next project. Sounds very very exciting and. Uh, USC is, 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 a, is a wondrous place to, to learn and, and, and do incredible stuff. Um, but thank you so much for graduation. Thank you for bringing your film to us. And uh, we look forward to seeing more of your work. So thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, Danny. Thanks for the interview. And thank you for New Filmmakers Los Angeles for having us. Mm -hmm.